you know, we get so busy and doing for everybody else that we oftentimes forget to do for ourselves. I know that you know that. I know that you can relate to that. So what do you do? Do you let time control you or do you learn how to pause and you control it? Because as much as I have to do today, right, we are three days away from Christmas, which means that technically I have, considering the time of day, I have about a, a day and a half um, to get some shopping done, last minute shopping, returns, whatever. And as I'm driving, um, you know, I, I look, I look at all this, right, look at the sky, how beautiful. Um, and I look at nature I love nature I, I love life I gotta tell you and so I say you know I couldn't fight the impulse to stop and so I've learned to listen to that part of me that's super loud in my head um, I've learned to control the moments and don't allow the moments to control me that's helped me in my day-to-day -day. that's helped me in my journey um, I have many people that are on my Facebook um, many people that I know and very few of them know my story very few of them know my challenges very few of them have really spent the time to get to know me and this is not a knock on them because I probably could also in all honesty do better to get to know them as well um, but I find that people are so caught up in their day-to-day, -day, you know, in their, in their, you know, what I got to do next, where I have to go, who I have to see, um, and, and putting importance to things that really aren't so important at the end of the day, you know, um, life is important, um, spending time with the ones we love is important, doing things we enjoy is important, because you know what, we're all going to leave this earth, we're all going to die. And when we die, guess what we leave behind? We leave memories. That's all. I mean, yeah, you know what? If you're rich and you have a business and whatever, you leave that. But really, really, it's the lives that you've touched. All I want to do, all I've always wanted to do is leave good memories behind. Losing my mother when I was 24 years old, just having become a mother, um, was extremely difficult. Um... And I learned a valuable lesson. I learned that, you know, what she left me with was the impression of her because she was an exceptional mother. And she was an exceptional person, period. She lent herself to the neighbors, you know, to help. She lent herself to strangers that didn't know her, that she didn't know. She gave of herself. And so all I could do is really try to be that and not that I wanted to be my mother but I wanted I learned from understanding the value and so with all that um, learning to take care of myself so that I can truly take care of other people is essential right learning to stop smell the roses you know give myself love is really important and it really is um, a lesson so I encourage you to do more of that in your own life you're gonna see it makes a huge difference all right take care bye